Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is a very, very exciting day as I am seeing Olivia Rodrigo on the Guts Tour London Night Run. I am screaming, I am so, so excited. This is my first time seeing Olivia Rodrigo live. I have been a big fan since she debuted and oh my God, I'm just, imagine telling 2020 me screaming all I want out the top of my lungs that I'm gonna be seeing her live four years later. Like, I'm so excited, I tried getting Sour Tour tickets, but I couldn't. And the time has finally arrived for me to see Olivia Rodrigo, so let's get ready. Okay, so this is the outfit for the Guts Tour. I need to like, touch up my hair before we leave, but I'm excited. This is not really what the weather is giving. It is currently extremely cloudy, but I have had this outfit planned for like, months now and i'm not letting the weather decide what i'm gonna wear or not so i'm just gonna wear this and then i've got an olivia rodrigo hoodie that i'm just gonna wear over it until like i gotta take my photos to the gram and i'll take off the hoodie and wear this for the photos but it's so close now so let's continue getting ready okay so we are on the train we've got the guts tour merch ready because olivia's sister went to the tour the other day so we got the hoodies prior but i'm excited Okay, so we have got our merch. I've got a huge poster here, but there are so many little children at this venue. Like, we're 17, 18. I feel old. Like, there's so many little kids. And like, cute, their first concert, love that. But I got a t-shirt, got this hoodie, which we had prior, and a poster. I'll do a haul at the end of the video, but excited. Okay, so we are in the queue for standing. It is like, what's the time? 5.46 to be exact. 5.46 and it doesn't open till 6 bay. We didn't really have the aim to start queuing, did we? We just like, we're kind of just here now. We're, we're vibing. We're probably going to be at the back of standing because we're not really fast like, because we've got general admission standing. So regardless how long we queue, we're and not we going to be. we don't want to be in the middle of the pit. Yeah, we don't want to be in the middle of the pit. And regardless how long we queue, we're not going to be at the front because we're in the second half. So we're just here for the vibes. Like, have some room yeah. to move and dance, but I'll keep you updated. Okay, doors are open. We are walking very slowly. I'm really nervous. Hopefully we have a good view. Right, we're going in. Oh my god. Where are we going to head down? What the hell? Wait, we're going to be a lot closer than I thought. I thought we were going to be at the very back. What the fuck? Okay, we'll stay here. Holy shit. We'll stay here and then go to the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, this is actually insane. We're going to actually be a lot closer than I thought. Oh my god, this is insane. Oh, tall people, let's go. Where are short people? Okay, here. Perfect. Oh my god. This is better than like the other people were. So the concert is finished, my voice hurts, it was so good, we're now like trying to get the tube back but we took loads of photos after the concert, it is manic, it is very busy but I will update the vlog on everything, my voice is gone, I, I, it hurts to speak, I'm just gonna go. I am now back home. 
too tired. I am going straight to bed. But I'll do a debrief in the morning of the concert. I need this Coca-Cola standing in a pit. It's not for the lighthearted. I look a mess. What is actually going on? Okay, see you in the morning. <laughs> Okay, so it is the day after the Guts tour. I wanted to pop on here and do like a little debrief of the show now that it's over because I did try my best with like vlogging the whole day but like vlogging in the streets of London is not a smart decision a lot of the time so I was just trying to film little bits of where I can and obviously I didn't want to vlog when we were inside the venue because I want to be like sensitive to other people around me they might not have wanted to be in the background of my video like who knows like I just didn't want to annoy anyone so I didn't vlog too much but guts tour Olivia Rodrigo is insane like truly one of the best pop stars that are around right now and in my opinion in my opinion she's probably like joint at number one with someone else of like the best pop star out to come out of the music industry in the past few years like she was just she's insanely talented her songwriting her performance her stage presence her whole aesthetic everything she is the perfect pop star and for context, I went general admission standing. I started queuing at half... No. I think I started queuing at quarter past five. And doors didn't open until 6.30. But I wasn't deliberately queuing. Because me and Olivia, my friend Olivia, who I went with, we went to the concert with the mindset of, oh, we're just going to be at the back of standing because we have general admission standards, so we're not going to be near the front anyway. So we were like, we'll just be at the back, we'll have a good time, we'll have more room to dance and live in the moment kind of vibe. And then we got over, and there was only around 50, no, like 50 to 100 people ahead of us when we got there, which was really shocking for general admission standing. So we're like, oh, we might as well stick it out and just see how close we can get. And then by the time doors got open and we were like 10th for it to the front for general admission standing, which is really good. Bear in mind, we only queued an hour prior to doors opening for that. Around the half hour mark before doors opened, that's where people really started to come in for like standing and, and everything like that. So if you're standing for Olivia Rodrigo and you want a good view, but you're not fussed on getting too close, I would recommend going going to the queue for standing like at the very latest an hour before doors opening because in that last half hour everyone just turns up and you're not going to get a good spot even though you're still waiting an extra two hours once doors open for Olivia to come on. Because we were closer we still had the aim to be at the back of standing for majority of the concert because we wanted to have more space to dance and live in the moment which is quite rare for me and Olivia because we're normally like near the front for standard week you all day but we couldn't because like we couldn't because we had college and we were just like no let's just go to the back and have good vibes for the concert like be far and just dance and all that and once we were in stand we couldn't really move so we didn't go to the back of standing until what was it it was near the end i think it was deja vu like just before deja vu after happier we like went to the back and it was such a better vibe at the back of standing like everyone was so more in the moment and everyone was just seemed like they were having a better time not seeing anyone where we were originally wasn't having fun it just when you're closer to the artist i know it's that concert it feels like a lot of the time it's just a crowd of TikTok content creators rather than people enjoying the concert authentically. Whereas when you're at the back of the of whereas when you were at the back of the arena, everyone was just like happy to be there and they were just having a great time with their friends and family. Like they were just there to have a good time at a concert. Like and it was just such a better vibe at the back. I really wish we went to the back before she went on the moon, because when she's on the moon she goes right to the very end. Like when I've gone to concerts before and I have gone around the arena, they normally stop at like the halfway point, but she went all the way around. And because we were in the centre of the standing, we only saw her back throughout the whole time. So when it comes to the moon, if you're in the middle, you're not really going to get any interaction from Olivia Rodrigo, which obviously not complaining about, was very grateful with the view we had and like how much fun we had at the concert. But... Let's give a little merch haul. So obviously we have got 
this t-shirt olivia rodrigo spills her guts live guts well tour this was 40 pounds which expensive but honestly not shocking with concerts these days got this hoodie which you saw me wearing throughout the concert and then on the back it's got the tour dates on her actual merch thing this was 70 pounds but i think i mentioned it earlier in the vlog that like we managed to get cheaper because basically my friend who i went with olivia her sister went to the birmingham show and at birmingham they had like fake merch then outside i say fake merch it's literally the exact same hoodie it there's no differences it's just not made by her team and it was 30 pounds so i saved myself 40 quid for getting that hoodie so love that for me and that made me feel like this t-shirt was free because this was 40 pounds there's a 40 pound difference so technically this was free, in my opinion, and I know that's not actually how it works. I did also get a poster, which is already hung up on my wall, which was £20, and I'll show it now. So this is the poster. I'm still in the process of doing my post wall. I don't feel I've actually shown it in full before. So this is it so far. I need to fill up this space, and I will be full with an Eras Tour poster here when I go to the Eras Tour, and then I've got, like, some stuff to fill space there. But that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know down below whether you've been to the Guts Tour, what dates you went to, what was your experience like seeing Olivia Rodrigo live, what your favourite song was to hear live, because for me personally, it was so American, Ballad of a Homeschooled Girl, and honestly, Deja Vu. I know Deja Vu is kind of a local song, but like, it served and it was so good live, and I've one of my favorite probably my favorite song of summer i don't care if it's a single it's a great song but that is it i'll see you next time for a brand new video bye